I am sure most of you have seen ChatGPT and all the hype around what it can do. I've never been into it. I've never really looked into ChatGPT. But today I did it for the first time and I'm going to tell you what is my experience. I had some things that I've been working on. I threw it at ChatGPT and the result was just mind-blowing. Today I'm going to show you what happened exactly and how I was amazed by ChatGPT and what you can do with it. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Guy. Here I share with you what I know and what I'm still learning in the tech field. I'm an IT professional and I share with you most of my project here and my studies and I also help you start or boost your career in the tech field. Today I was supposed to make a video with a feedback on Unify Protect. I showed you on this channel how I installed my surveillance system with about 13 cameras. It's based on Unify Protect and after two years I am coming with a feedback to tell you what I like, what I don't like and if I should recommend you to use Unify Protect and I've been seeing on Facebook, Instagram and everywhere a lot of creative people talking about using tools like ChatGPT to create content so I just go there ask it a question and it gives me a script for a video that I'm going to create for you which I wouldn't do because my content are original so I cannot create a video on what I got from ChatGPT because I need to give you the real feedback of my experience but I was just curious and I went on openai.com which is the website of the company that is producing ChatGPT for those of you that have been living under a rock ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence language model you can actually talk to it like you're talking to a human. It seems to know everything and whatever you ask it, it's going to do it for you. So I went on the website on openai.com. I opened my account using my Google and I actually logged in with Google. So one of the first things that I tried with it was just to click on one of the sample questions that I could ask. I asked it to explain quantum computing in simple terms. It gave me this answer that I didn't even bother to read. But then because I speak French, I asked it if he can speak French. It's like, yeah, of course I can speak French. Just ask anything you want in French and I'm going to respond to you. And then I said, parlez-vous français, which means do you speak French? He says, yeah, of course I speak French. That was in French. And then I sent a request in French about the pros and cons of Unify Protect. Of course, he sent me an article in French with all the bullets. This is, these are the pros and these are the cons. Some of them can be questionable. It says here that the price is high with Unify Protect which I don't agree with. That's not a point here. But I asked to do the same thing, give me the response in English. And this is the article that was created in English, giving me the pros and cons of Unify Protect and the overall experience of the users. It's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. And then I thought about some programming question that I can ask it. Right now, I'm preparing to release my Python for Beginner course on kbtrainings.com. It's a course that will give you all the basics you have to know to start programming with Python, which pretty much should be known today by everybody because you can write a bunch of small script for your own use, for your home, for your business, or whatever you do in Python. It's very useful. And then I was trying to see if this tool can program. And as you can see, it's a simple script but the way it did it is it, just it's just amazing so the, the the problem is here i was this is one of the examples that i use in my course that i'm going to release on kbturns.com just to show you some basic stuff this is a quick thing where this is a linux computer and you know that if you are on a linux computer you can do history when you do history it's going to give you the list of all the commands that you tapped uh, recently. Here I have 316 commands. And the exercise is to write a Python code that is going to give me what are the most used command here. So what I did is I put the history content in a file called history.txt. So this is what I asked to chat GPT. I even have some mistakes here, but it doesn't care about the mistake. Even understand everything when you have mistakes. Write a Python code that reads the text file from the history command saved under history.txt in Linux and returns the number of time each command was used in the history from high to low. After a few seconds, this is what came back from ChatGPT. So I just grabbed this and I put it in my VS code. Nothing changed and I just run the, the script. This is what I have. So from this one, I understand that it was able to go and read the file. As you can see here, it can open the file, read the file, and then it gave me this one here. So what I understood is that it didn't bother to remove the number that is coming in the front of the of the command itself. In data science, the very hard step is to prep the data. When you prep the data and you have your data ready, writing the script is just a small step in the process. So here, ChatGPT didn't understand that it needs to remove these numbers. So I need to be more specific. So I went on and 
modify the query a little bit so i said at the end make sure to remove the number before each command i even made a mistake here before each command in history.txt file and then he sent me this new updated script when i grab the script put it here you can see it's splitting it and then it understands that there is a space between the number and whatever comes after it's removing the space and then grabbing whatever is coming after it's even coding by giving you the comment it says here remove the number before the command i was i was just blown away i i wish i had my camera on when i was reading this for the first time i laughed like crazy and i was like wow this is so amazing so you can see that he goes through the he created a dictionary goes through it and then grabs every line of the dictionary count how many times that line or the command is coming back in the same dictionary and then gives us the result so when we run that second script here this is what we have boom the exact thing that i requested for look at this it says ls ltr 42 times pwd 15 times cd dot dot 11 times this is great guys this is something that is just i mean i know it's small i know it's my i mean you might have been used to this you might have seen most of this online or you might have done it yourself but to me it's the first time to experiment this and i'm really blown by this it's, it's so amazing to just write a query and then have this created for you it's a small script but it means a lot it means a lot for software developers it means a lot for network engineers it means a lot for everybody who interacts because when we think of automation the first thing we think of is the repetitive jobs in warehouses or things like that and today it's already the case in amazon warehouses they have these robots that can pick the items depending on the orders and then put them in the queue to be shipped out it's done today but we don't think about the tech guys we don't think about some blue collar jobs that can be easily replaced by automation as you can see here just a line of command it generates the script somebody's out there just writing the script in his day job that's how we get paid what if chat gpt takes all of that away there is pretty much no job to do that's something we'll be discussing now with future videos if you don't want to miss anything make sure you subscribe to the channel and you hit the notification bell so that you get notified every time i release a video and i think for professionals what you can do is go beyond this go beyond artificial intelligence if your job involves a decision tree where you go if this then that is that's all you do in a few years your company may not need you so you need to be beyond this you need to learn way more than this to be able to be competitive in the future economy of ai and everything that it comes with as you can see since the release of chat gpt4 a lot of companies are behind it and it's something that is coming with a big hype and that's something you should watch for Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye.